Okay, so, hi, this is Mr. Eric Chris talking to fitness people, and I want to respond to Mega Bro's comment regarding TI not being objective, but being subjective logic, yada, yada, yada. No, first of all, let's be clear that the reason traditional understandings of objectivity and subjectivity don't work is because they fail to account for the actual individual, the agent, who's engaging in the discourse. They want to extract... They want to do what TI wants to do, which is extract the individual from the process. The problem is the individual is always stuck in the process. So the objectivity or subjectivity is not about whether or not it's you who's doing the evaluation. It's always that way. You can't have TI, FI, TE, FE without you. Okay? So that level of subjectivity is there no matter what metric you use. Whether something is objective or subjective then, it's a matter of statements, the, the evaluatory status of statements. Remember, we're always talking about statements. We're never talking about anything but statements, okay? All of this metacognition that we do involves statements and their respective truth values. Respective to what is the determining factor as to whether something's objective or subjective. If it's respective to other objects that are fixed or relatively fixed, like in TI, then it becomes an objective metric. The fact that ESTPs use their objective metric to do subjective things, well, that's because they're SE domes. So they do first, then justify it. They don't use an objective metric well, they don't use it like it's intended to be used as I see it to be used, but nevertheless, they're using an objective metric to justify the fact that they already took action without thinking about it first. So, again, objectivity and subjectivity stem from, is the thing communicably disputable? Communicat communicatively disputable. TE is not about communicability or disputing. It's about, was well, it a good idea to move this table over here without moving the shit out of the way first? Well, no, if your objective is not to break the bomb, but it you, you have to define your own goal. And everything relates to that. That's what makes it subjective. That's what makes FI subjective. It's relating, it's personal, it's personal to you. It's not something that's designed to be communicable. So the reason TE is not, you can't objectively say anything about TE, whether it's good TE or bad TE, is because it's entirely, because the, the thing that, that it's respective to is not fixed. Whereas it is with TI or FE, you're looking at a data point with FE, like he's smiling or he's frowning, or I cause him to laugh or I cause him to cringe or something like that. And then once it's locked into place as a time object, it becomes something that you can make meaning off of that doesn't change. It's not subject to change. Now, you can reach consensus about the purpose of a given thing and then you can agree about whether it's good to eat or bad to eat but or disagree but there, there's no there's no right or wrong answer so it's like well, I think it's bad to eat because it it goes across the, the the ground the main grounds of this endangered snail well I think it's good to eat because it gets us from point A to point B more directly than your roundabout route we don't know which is good to eat or bad to eat. It depends on your goal. Is it consistent with this axiomatic principle that we apply when making roads? That's a TI question. And if it is consistent or not is an objectively determinate question. Whether or not you want to use that uh, axiom or not is irrelevant. The point is, if we use this axiom, then this would be the outcome is a determinate statement. It's it's absolutely for sure one, one way or the other because it allows for conditionality. TI is all about conditionality. If X, then Y allows you to make absolutely determinate answers. 
If X, then Y? The fact that X can change and Y can change is irrelevant because they don't change relative to each other. Now anyway, Mega Bro, you're wrong about this and this is why. You haven't answered anything I'm saying. Your explanation there does not address the fact that just because some people who use TI don't use it in what you would consider a good fashion doesn't make it not objective. It means that they're using an objective metric to justify bullshit.